the sound, the sound of Gay UK. This, this, this is Gaydar Radio. Craig, for people that don't know, what happened 12 years ago? Uh, tragically, a nail bomb went off in the Admiral Duncan, killing three people and injuring over 100 people at the same time. I wasn't there at the time. I've been told that it was quite a warm day and it was a very busy bank holiday weekend in Soho on that day. And Mark, what were your thoughts? Where were you at the time? Well, I was working at Selfridges at the time, if, um, so I was quite lucky because otherwise I would have been drinking in the Admiral Duncan. My partner used to work in Compton's across the road, um, and it was uh, a hot sunny day, um, like the weather we've been having lately, and everyone was out enjoying themselves, ready to have some fun. And I don't think people really connected with the, because um, there had been two bombs the weeks, a couple of weeks before at Brixton Brick Lane, and I don't think people had really picked up that we were next on the list to be targeted. Obviously, it happened um, so many years ago, and London was an incredibly different place. I know, for instance, you didn't have things like the London Eye, you didn't have the O2, it was still the Millennium Dome, work in progress, um, and you didn't even have a mayor of London as a figurehead. Just explain to people days after that in terms of the community coming together. Kairos of Soho were great supporters uh, the during the aftermath. A lot of people felt um, felt shocked, surprised, and hurt by by what had the events that had happened. Um, I think it brought the community closer together and made people realise that you know um, that everybody was a target for for any kind of hate, um, especially especially gay people. Yeah, it was also a very sad time and uh, quite a worrying time because it was, it was a question about how can people get in contact with each other to know that each, each other's okay. The road was uh, roped off for a while and there was a police van uh, down the side in Dean Street and then that eventually moved in front of the Admiral Duncan um, and was a, a sort of point of information for local people. Well, I was living in Bournemouth at the time and I remember it shook the Bournemouth gay uh, population quite heavily. Um, Everybody was just absolutely amazed, and I think everybody became more, like I said before, everybody became more aware that you know we were a target, and you know these things could happen, and could happen anywhere in the country to any of us. Um, and I think that was, I think that was a wake-up call for a lot of people that you know um, we were still targets of hate, as uh, choosing to identify as LGBT. I think it helped bring us together though, it sort of made us realise that we do need to work together to get our rights and, and to make sure that we remain vigilant, vigilant and protect our communities. Um, so that was really important and I mean David Copeland on that day set out to cause injury and, and fear within our, within our different communities but it, instead it had the opposite effect because it actually helped bring us together. On mobile, online and on digital, this, this, this is Gaydar Radio. Gaydar Radio.